Assalamu alaikum students, uh, this is Sir Ahmed Hussain from uh, Higher Secondary section of SMB Kaizadam Public School, English Department. So my students uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the poem that is the Neem Tree. You can observe it uh, on your screen and uh, in, indeed this poem is written by Mrs. Elsa Kazi. So my students uh, before proceeding forward uh, let's have an overview of this poem with respect to its central idea. Uh, the, said in this poem, the poetess Mrs. Elsa Kazi has tried to elaborate the qualities of neem tree and she has uh, uh, briefly uh, described the characteristics of neem tree about its strength, about its quality oriented lifestyle, about its sacrifications, about its uh, worth. So furthermore, uh, she, uh, she has also described uh, the qualities of uh, neem tree and also and try to uh, c convince people and try to suggest us that we should also uh, avail the life as the neem tree avails. So uh, furthermore, now let's proceed forward towards a poem and you can observe the first stanza on your screen uh, and uh, in this first stanza the poetess Mrs. Elsa Kazi uh, is addressing to the, uh, to the neem tree while she says my lovely neem that intercepts sun's scorching beam yet bears the heat all the day without the range refreshing spray though charms the wanderers woe away with soothing shed. So my students, uh, in this poem at the start, the poetess addresses the neem tree and she tells her that you are the one which stops the burning flames of the sun, the hot scorching beam. Here she tries to explain about the sun's scorching beam that these are the a burning flames and the hot, very hot flames of the sun that are um, resist, resisted by that are um, uh, resisted by the uh, neem tree uh, throughout the day, and also she stops stops to, uh, those uh, rays while at the same time she uh, bears it throughout the whole day. As I uh, right now mentioned that uh, the hot rays and the midday burning flames that are quite hot throughout the day these are born by neem tree uh, throughout her, not only throughout the day but also the whole life so she all uh, poet has also uh, f further elaborated it uh, by saying that ultimately this uh, this action this deed of neem tree give relief to the passerby who those people who are wandering here and there for their daily purposes for their daily activities and most of the uh, here she has uh, uh, made it particular that those passersby are sorrowful and that's why she uh, poetess has described thou charms the wanderers vow away here the vow means sorrow and wanderers passerby with soothing shade because uh, it is a fact that she bears the heat while under it it provides the soothing shade it provides the cool shade for those person who are uh, busy in their daily activities and they get relief and take rest for a while while um, for um, after sitting beside behind uh, besides the tree and under the sh uh, that uh, cooling shade of the tree so uh, that was uh, uh, the explanation of first stanza and now let's move towards our second stanza and you can observe it on your screen and here in this second stanza uh, the poetess says in the first line that how strong you are how unafraid how green thy leaves in spite of all the midday flames that burning fall upon thy unprotected head so my students, once again, uh, poetess addresses 
the neem tree by explaining her strength by her endurance power that how much longer she bears that heat throughout the day and also uh, that's why she calls her strong the, she calls her unafraid means fear from any sort of uh, free from any sort of fear so uh, furthermore she says that how green thy leaves in spite of all and after some sort of uh, uh, consequences she uh, the, the neem tree looks green as well and also she seems much fertile and she she does not the, the neem tree does not loss her uh, greenery after facing all such sort of hardships uh, in the form of uh, midday burn midday flames that are uh, explained by the poetess that she says the midday flames that burning fall upon thy unprotected head because she has no covering over her so my students uh, these were the first two stanzas in which the poetess mrs elsa kazi addresses the neem tree and uh, she explains her qualities she call her strong uh, unafraid and also uh, she has explained her characteristics uh, positive characteristics and the, her endurance power which she uh, in the form of uh, her uh, stand street uh, fastness and so on so my students uh, let's proceed forward uh, in this third stanza of the poem here the poetess says now this time uh, in these two stanzas the poetess addresses a man while in the first two stanzas the poetess uh, was addressing neem tree uh, while explaining her qualities uh, but this time uh, the poetess tries to give the message and uh, that uh, she is trying to convince the person the people to be like the neem tree she says could man be born as though and rise above the earth with the sheltering arm to save the suffering ones from harm from sorrows poverty and vice through sacrifice so here indeed the poetess uh, is just trying to convince the people to be like the neem tree to adopt some sort of qualities as the neem tree possess like that's why she says could man be bold and uh, as though and rise and it should can can we work can we perform or can we act like the neem tree or can we uh, avail our life like the neem tree is availing so here uh, above the earth with sheltering arm now she is uh, giving the picture she is painting the picture of the neem tree while she is uh, uh, in such so, uh, she f seems like a person who is who has sheltered his arms so that in in a similar fashion uh, the poetess is trying to uh, convince the people that we should also act and perform like the neem tree furthermore uh, what will be the objective what will be the objective for people to perform like her yes she says to save the suffering from harm we have to save people from all sort of difficulties from all sort of sorrows poverty all sort of bad deeds you know it means that we should uh, sacrifice uh, at the end she says through sacrifice you can observe it on your screen that the last uh, sentence last line shows through sacrifice so it means if we work with the sacrifice uh, if we if we work with uh, sacrifice by sacrificing uh, our energies everything for the sake of others we should uh, we can uh, per, we can uh, give guidance to others f so that they may be able to uh, uh, resist themselves so they may be able to uh, keep them away from the bad deeds that's why she uh, uses the word wise and also we can work for the betterment of the others so that uh, they, there must be uh, there uh, the poverty must be allevi alleviated and also these all th uh, happenings which are ultimately uh, for the betterment and the progress of the people uh, the world 
people in uh, common and the world in general. So now you can observe uh, the fourth stanza where the poet says in the first line of fourth stanza and obviously it is the last stanza of her poem. She says, could man be steadfast and like thee face every fate? So here we should st uh, uh, separate uh, this context uh, with the rest of other uh, lines that here the poetess want to say that we, sh we, we not only work for the better man but also we need to be steadfast. We have to make it a continuous effort throughout our life. That's why she says, uh, face every fate and whatever will be the hurdle in uh, while doing all these good things, all these good uh, acts, we should, uh, we should be consistent in our work. We should be committed and consistent as well. Furthermore, she says, okay, would it not be the fulfillment of law, life's loftiest dream, my lovely name? So at the end, she, uh, the poetess tries to uh, explain the importance of this, uh, these efforts, that these should be the noble objective of life. And these should be prioritized at each level, at uh, every level of the uh, lifestyle. So therefore, my students, uh, this was all about the poem in which uh, the poetess, Mrs. Uh, al Sakazi has uh, painted the beautiful picture of the neem tree and also she has uh, explained her qualities and furthermore she has also given, uh, she has also convinced the people to do uh, good deeds and to avail uh, the, uh, the life as uh, performed by the neem tree. So it's all about the basic theme and central idea of the poem. Uh, so hope you have uh, uh, completely uh, comprehend this poem and wish you best of luck. Thank you my students.